I'm Mark Thaler for the New Hampshire Union Leader and UnionLeader.com. We're just wrapping things up here from Northeast Delta Dental Stadium, site of the 2011 Eastern League All-Star Game. It was played here Wednesday night, and the Western Division All-Stars knocked off the Eastern Division All-Stars 8-3. The game was actually much closer for most of the contest tonight, except the Western Division All-Stars break through with a two-spot in the seventh to take a 4-2 lead. They tack on four runs in the ninth inning to break things open and get you that 8-3 final score. Brock Holt from Altoona was named the game's MVP. He's the second MVP in a row from the Western Division to earn that award. Last year it was Chase Darno. You might recognize that last name. Travis Darno, who plays for the Fisher Cats and is an Eastern League All-Star this year. That's his brother. Now Chase last year hit a big grand slam that helped seal a 10-3 win. So that's the connection there from last year to this year. The funny thing about Brock Holt, he only had one home run in the first half of this regular season. So he gets his second home run of the year in a pretty big stage in front of 7,517 fans here at Northeast Delta Dental Stadium. He takes the ball deep to right, gives the Western Division All-Stars a 2 to nothing lead. They never trailed in the game, 8-3 final. Now I thought all this was also interesting. Talking after the game with Altoona manager in the Western Division, All-Star skipper PJ Forbes, he said that the fans here were outstanding, and so did Sal Fasano, but he definitely knows that having managed here now for the first half of the season. So both managers really saying what a great job the fans did tonight, cheering both teams, even though the East lost, and of course the Fisher Cats All-Stars were on that East team, but the fans had a great job of recognizing all the talent on the field, and in fact, P.J. Forbes said after the game just that. He said, quote, they do a great job of understanding the game and understanding performance, and I thought that was a really telling uh, quote from the, the winning manager tonight. Lastly, seven Fisher Cats were on the official All-Star Game roster for the Eastern Division. Four of them earned starts. Probably no surprise given the game's location, but still four starters in that lineup is pretty, pretty amazing, actually. So the four starters were first baseman Mike McDade, who won the home run derby earlier in the evening. It was also right fielder Moises Sierra, catcher Travis Darno, and on the hill Zach Stewart. That's pretty good. Four Fisher Cats. I talked to Stephen Fife from the Portland Sea Dogs after the Home Run Derby and asked him about that, about the New Hampshire Fisher Cats and having so many guys on the All-Star roster and in the starting lineup. It was no surprise to him. He said to me, quote, New Hampshire, I feel, is probably the best team in the league. They, as far as he can tell, they have the best talent top to bottom. He said pitching, catching, defense, it's all there. And they really displayed it in the first half of the season. That's why they're in first place. Something to look to hold on to as we start up the second half of the regular season. It's hard to believe it's flying by already. But it was a great night here at the ballpark. I think the fans here really had a great time with all the festivities, including Tuesday night's block party. But it really picked up a notch tonight with the home run derby, Mike McDade and Moises Sierra in the final. So it was an all Fisher Cat final. South Fasano was very proud of that. And those guys hit some tape measure shots. McDade taking advantage of the short porch and right, hitting some bombs over the right field wall. And Moises Sierra taking aim on that Hilton Garden Inn Hotel. He hit it a few times tonight. He also hit the roof of the Samuel Adams Bar and Grill behind me. So those guys put on a show for the hometown crowd. It was a great night all around. For the New Hampshire Union Leader and UnionLeader.com, I'm Mark Thaler.